Hello, Joe from Joe K Models here. So I've been doing a lot of quality checking at this point. As you can see, there's a lot of NATO black and that's just because I'm checking the seam lines where I've been putting pieces together and uh, sanding, making sure that those lines are faded away. You can see on the engine here where I'm putting that NATO black and just making sure that line's gone. Um, and where there is still a line, like on this piece here or this piece here, you can see I've added some sprue goo. Um, you know, putting the natal black, noticing that there's a faint bit of line, then putting the sprue goo on there, and then just taking my sanding stick and, um, you know, after giving it time to dry, go ahead and, uh, you know, sanding that smooth. Um, so these are just some quality checks that I'm doing at this point. Uh, just to make sure that everything's looking good uh, so that when I actually start doing the the painting process putting primer on there I'm not running into these issues at that time so that's what I'm working on right now um, also I've got this glass piece ready I dipped that in some clear and this is just gonna go right in there like that and I painted the inside of where there's going to be like this color. Um, so I just did like a faint gray on there. So, I mean, <laughs> kind of sweating out details here, but you know, the inside I would assume would be the gray color inside of the airplane. So I'm just doing the inside of that. But when I actually paint, I'm gonna mask the outside of this and it will actually be the green color. So I just added a little bit of that gray on the inside. So I'll be putting that on. But looking ahead at the directions here, really getting to the last parts of this, um, a lot of the stuff doesn't need to be done until after I get done painting. Like I'm not going to be adding these exhausts, um, you know, before painting. That just doesn't make sense. It makes more sense just to paint these and add them on after. Um, you know, propeller can wait. Um, same thing for the, the front piece there. Um, the wheels. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be done before painting the main body of the airplane, but just because I'm going to be doing primer and everything, I'll probably be putting these together as sub-assemblies before that so that I can spray everything at the same time. Um, but there's a little bit of work to be done here at the back. This uh, back, I don't know if you want to call it landing gear, but this back part that um, is uh, running on the ground. Um, so that, and then the landing gear right here. We'll see how that works out. It looks like it's two different pieces that are gonna get put together. So I'll put those on before painting as well. Um, and then just leaving the wheels off of that so it'll be easier to do those separately. Then these PE parts on the side here, putting those on. And then this part, which is kind of the part that I'm kind of thinking about the most because I've never really done anything like this. So I'm bending the PE part to form the front piece and then putting like these um, they gave me some different uh, film pieces to cut out and then to put in there so I've never done that before I'm not sure how that's gonna work out exactly I'll have to do a little bit of research I'm used to just having clear pieces and then masking them so um, I'll have to think a little bit more on that and then just on the top here there's some different structures and because these are gonna be you know as far as I can tell, the same color as the fuselage. I'm going to put those on there now. Um, I have to be very careful, though, um, you know, when I am painting and turning it over, not to have these pieces snap off. I might have to come up with some type of, um, you know, uh, a holder uh, while I paint um, for that piece. Because I've had that issue before where I'll have, like, an antenna or something, and it just snaps off because I forget about it, and I'm turning the airplane over, so... But other than that, that's it as far as the assembly goes. Um, so I'm hoping to get most of this wrapped up, if not all of it, on the on this vlog or the next one. And then after that, um, get to the painting process. And uh, so let's get going on that and talk to you in a minute.
All right, and that's where I'm gonna leave off for this vlog. Got the cockpit windows in there, and I'd like to say that I enjoyed doing that, but um, it was a little finicky. But, you know, just using super glue and just kind of doing it piece by piece, I was able to, you know, bend it pretty much to the spots that I wanted to. A um, couple times it, it came undone, but, um, you know, just being patient and letting it dry, I was able to, uh, to get it pretty decent. Um, also, got the landing gear down here all set, as well as back here. So, this aircraft is now standing on its own power, which is also pretty cool. And then really the only thing that's left to put on here are the um, like the machine guns with that I'm gonna save that till after the painting and then there's some like rails that go on the side so I'm gonna do that on the next one um, but also I'm not gonna put the full gear on but I did get some of the photo etch on there um, just so that when I start painting and doing the primer I can kind of hit some of those to save some time later on um, so Got a lot done. Um, pretty happy with the way this has turned out so far. I'm really excited to uh, get it masked up and get it painted and, uh, you know, really start to see it transform. So thank you so much. This is Joe from Joe K Models, and I'll catch you on the next vlog.